Hello there, uh, my name is Jake and I'm from Taiwan. I'm an industrial designer. Today I'm going to show you one of my DIY projects. Uh, this is a mini version of iRobot. Uh, it is a desktop vacuum cleaner. And the story was back a few months ago when I bought this iRobot. Then I had this idea to come out a mini, mini version of that. So as you can see here is the result. Um, the size is quite small, it's, it's the same as a palm and um, it weighs a little bit because it has got lots of components inside there. Uh, it has got two step motors, uh, it has got two fan motors on the rear and inside here it has got the compartment for batteries. These batteries are used to triggering the back of the motors. Uh, you got a big breadboard here there and lots of electronic comp components on the top and a sensor right in the front and on the button here it has got uh, two infrared sensor uh, this is used to detect any um, cliff or edge of the table and um, this is uh, here is the real cabinet uh, this is the area to store dirty particles dirty um, dust. Um, as you can see here, here's the air inlet. Uh, two mesh is used to filtering out any dirty particles and these are uh, air outlets. And as I just mentioned, this is the fan I just mentioned. So let's just put this back. and just give a quick run for that. Oh, before that, I forgot to mention that, um, sorry, I only got one hand here, so it's a little bit difficult. Um, I forgot to mention that um, the heart of the device is uh, an IC. This is Atmel 328, uh, and I use uh, Arduino to code it. And because I'm not a professional code writer, so um, when it runs, uh, the movement is a little bit dodgy, but I still, I will still continue to work on um, the coding. So let's just, let's get start the device. Uh, I just grab a USB cable, which is already connected to the PC, and insert that in. So it is how it works, and um, just a few close-up for that. Um, you can see um, I put some sponge tabs, um, which um, serves as a bumper, a cushion for the bumper. So it works. It actually works quite well. And for the wheel, it has got, uh, I use O-ring for that, just to add some grabbing force to the ground. And um, the whole thing is printed out from 3D printers. Um, so just show you on the original prototype for that. Um, this, is, uh, print out, this, this is printed out three months ago. It is when um, the project starts. Uh, as you can see, the surface is quite rough. It has got lots of support marks uh, on that. So you have to grind it off. And on the back, lots of big gaps and very rough surface. And um, initially, I was going to use lots of mini breadboards for that, but I found that it consumes too much space. So rather than that, I just use a big breadboard just to make the design easier and simpler. So um, 
Yes, the second version of the prototype uh, is getting better, uh, but still there is uh, lots of big torrents, lots of big apps. And then it, it comes to the third version of the prototypes, which, is, which has got a closed color to the final version. But rather than the gray color, I use um, bluish gray just to match the blue color there. And as you can see here on the top cover, it has got a iRobot imprint. So just to give a name for the device. So it also looks quite cool. And that's about it. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. And if there's any new stuff, I will update to um, the Facebook or on um, the YouTube. And thank you. Bye-bye.